Hey, Sarah here with Fit Healthy Moms, and today I want to give you some ab work that you can do. If you know anything about anything about me, you know that I hate crunches. I will never tell you to do crunches because crunches will never flatten your abs. In fact, most ab exercises won't give you a flat belly. The number one thing you can do to flatten your abdominal area is clean up your diet. Like really, really clean up your diet. Track what you're eating, make sure you're eating really well, really clean. Decreasing grains has a lot to do with it. Increasing water has a lot to do with it. And then exercising appropriately, which means that you're strength training to build muscle mass, lean muscle mass, not bulky muscle mass, and that you're doing the right kind of cardio. You will not lose a belly walking on the treadmill. You will not lose a belly on the elliptical. You need to be doing high intensity interval training. That's what's gonna burn the fat off of your belly. So I have lots of information about that already on Fit Healthy Moms. What I wanna give you today is an ab workout that you can do, and you can either tag this on to the end of a workout that you're already doing, or you could do this as your full workout for the day, and there's a lot of different ways you could do that. You could put these four exercises I'm gonna give you into a Tabata style workout, and that could be your whole workout for the day. What I'm doing with these four exercises is I've chosen exercises that target your core, not in the way that crunches do, because at the same time they use your whole body, they also get your heart rate up. So you're not just pulling through your core and feeling your abs burn like you would in a crunch, you're using your whole body to stimulate your metabolism and then using your core as the, fire, as the powerhouse of each move. So I'm gonna go through these four exercises. You can do them in any order that you want that's appropriate for you or for your workout for that day. Like I said, and you can format the workout in any way that you want at the end of a workout or you can make this into your whole workout. So exercise number one is gonna be inchworms. Inchworms is a variation of a moving plank position or a, and a push-up. So what that looks like is from a standing position, you're going to come down, keeping your legs straight, walk your hands out, down into a push-up, and then walk your feet up as far as you can, walk your hands back out, down into a push-up, and continue on. If you don't have a lot of space to continue, you could also start from a standing position, walk yourself out, down into your push-up, and then walk yourself right back up to standing. Exercise two, jump knee tucks. These are really fun, they're pretty high impact, so if you have any knee issues, this would not be a good option for you. My voice is starting to go. So with jump knee tucks, what you're doing, you're using your core muscles here, pulling deep and tight through your abs, and you're gonna go into a jump where you lift your knees up to hip height. So I always bring my hands out, jump up, bring your knees to your hands, and then jump again. The target, on the, the target key thing here is to try to connect them as quickly as possible using your core. So with your hands out, up, 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 as fast as you can, your heart rate's gonna really skyrocket. So try to do 10 of those, connecting them as fast as you can. Take a break, do 10 more, or go into inchworms, and then come back to them. So for your third exercise, we're gonna go back down to the floor, back into plank position. We're gonna do squat thrust. So I'm gonna show you from the side. So from here, hands down, out, in, my feet come under me. So notice my heels are flat, my feet are under me. Back out and in, out and in. Again, connecting those quickly, using your core every time to pull your knees up. It's gonna get your heart rate up. You can tell my breathing's a little labored just from a few of those. Next up, you're gonna take two markers on the floor. I usually use dumbbells, but I didn't bring dumbbells upstairs with me. So I'm gonna use two boxes of cards. So two markers on the floor about two feet apart, and pulling through your core, you're gonna go into some footwork that's gonna be cardiovascular, but it's also gonna really isolate the core. So you're gonna hop across, one, two, three, and then back across. So it's fast feet across, but you're really getting abdominal work when you come to the side and you get that knee pull in. So it's also a bit of a twist, elbow to the opposite knee, right here. This will get your, your uh, cardio really fired up as you go, but it's also targeting your abs. So there you have it, four exercises that you can do that are gonna target your core, but they're also gonna get your heart rate up. They're also gonna use more of your body than just the abdominal muscles, and they'll get you as one, component, as one component of getting closer to having a flatter, more toned belly. So my voice is going, I'm gonna get off the camera. I'll see you soon at fithealthymoms.com.